Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the finished roof. <clears throat> Sorry I didn't get more footage I was putting it on, but uh, it's tough to get a good angle at it. And my camera actually died while we were working. So I want to just show you after the fact, unfortunately, but um, this is what it looks like. And I want to talk a little bit about what we did. So these are 16 foot long panels made specifically to fit this. They're cut to length. Um, they cover three feet left to right this way. So again, that's why I made the roof 27 feet, so it would fit exactly. I think I said in one of the other pieces of the video that uh, I didn't have to do any cutting. That's not entirely true. When we got, so we started at this end, and when we got all the way to that end, we hung off by maybe two inches or something. So uh, better to be long than short, I guess. So um, we didn't come up short and weren't missing any, but we did have to trim a little bit off. Uh, it's actually on the ground there, you can see it. It's just a thin little piece. Um, just did it with some tin snips, so not too bad, um, but no other cutting other than that, other than I think I said, I'm going to cut a little bit where we meet at corners up here with some trim pieces. Um, but to talk about the trim a little bit, or to talk about putting it on, the installation, uh, they recommend at the ends, kind of top end and bottom end, um, screws on both sides of the ribs, so that's what we did, and there's actually a little, a little foam piece up in here to stop things from getting inside, bugs and critters and whatnot. So we added those in. Uh, in between the top and the bottom, they say uh, just pick a side of the rib and screw it down one, one side of the rib. Um, <clears throat> it was kind of a random choice, at least we thought. So Bill turned to me and said, well, which side do you wanna, do you wanna hit? And I said, oh, let's go with the right. And it turns out that was a minor mistake because as you go across the panel and you get to where it overlaps the next panel, I don't know if you can see this, but the overlap is, is right here. And it doesn't have, there's a piece, one of the pieces has a little extra kind of foot to it maybe. It's actually under here going this way. Um, and one doesn't, you know, it just stops right here. So because I chose the right side, when we did this screw, we weren't actually catching this panel this other panel that overlaps it. So we should have chosen this side. Um, by the time we realized that it was a little too late. So what we ended up doing was every time we hit a, an overlap spot, we just hit both sides. Now what that meant was they, when they sell you this stuff, they estimate the screws that it will take based on the size. And they sell you that many screws. So I got two bags of screws and we came up literally like a dozen short. So I had to go buy another bag of screws. And if I had made a different choice here, I probably wouldn't have had to do that. If I had chosen the other side of the rib, um, probably wouldn't have had to do that. So when you choose the side of the rib to hit, when you're hitting just one side of the rib, choose the side where you're gonna, where you're not gonna miss the overlapped piece um, like I did. So. <clears throat> Hopefully that makes sense. You have to look at the panels individually to kind of see it. But then to the trim, you know, the trim pieces are just, these are pieces that they they sell in uh, roughly 10 foot lengths. So I needed two down these sides. So we did have to overlap them, but we didn't cut them because the overlap wasn't so big that it even was worth cutting. We just, we just kind of slid them until they were good on either end and just screwed all the way up. I think every, I ended up doing every foot or so. Um, it might have been overkill, but since I got those extra bag of screws, um, I figured it didn't matter. This is what the trim piece kind of looks like. See, it's just to clean it up um, and protect over the edge a little bit and here a little bit. So there it is down the edge. So that goes down both sides. And there's actually a similar piece up at the top that is, uh, it's custom bent depending on your the pitch of your roof. So because they knew the pitch of my roof, they bent it at the right angle. These obviously are just 90 degree because they're going on, a, on an edge, but that is not a 90 degree bend up there because of the pitch of the roof. So. so those are custom bent. That also has, you can't see it from here, but up underneath. So that comes, that sits on the front and comes up over the top. Um, there's also another piece of foam up there to keep stop getting things getting in. And I hit that, I actually screwed that, I think on every rib, again, because I got an extra bag of screws. If I had not gotten that extra bag of screws, I would only have needed to hit maybe every other 
but uh, once I had the extra screws, I just figured I'd put them in there. So, and same deal, those are 10 feet long. They're actually 10 foot six, so that you can overlap by six inches. But uh, I needed three of those because this is 27 feet I'm covering. So again, the overlap wasn't so huge that it, it made sense even to cut it. So we just kind of overlapped them the necessary amount and screwed into the overlap. So no cuts for us again. Um, but that's about it. So I just wanted to show you the finished product and talk a little bit about it because I didn't get to film the whole thing. So, but it came out real nice. It's been rained on a few times. Uh, the only thing I need to do, uh, now that all that water is hitting here and will be collected into one spot, essentially this end, um, it's hitting the ground right now. So when we get a lot of rain, that's going to make kind of a mess here. It hasn't done too much yet, but over time that would be very bad. So I need to get that gutter on there as soon as possible. So that'll be one of the steps as soon as the shed's finished up is to get the gutter on there and obviously a barrel to feed it into. So that's it. Just wanted to finish it up. It looks good. We're on to siding next.